I'll come out to Wisconsin and stomp you. My little short ass is vibing. <laughs> anyway, fuck with it. Fuck with it. Nah, if you, oh, pro- like, you can't put promo on, on Fresh Goes Live and expect me not to talk shit. Like, That's a meat back music right there. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> now we in the building. Um, me. You know what it is, 007, right back at you. And we got a bunch of special guests. It's going to be a live ass night. So absolutely. if you ain't tuned in, you fucked up and missing something. Absolutely. Because we absolutely. got. My man right here, I had to bring him up because, I don't know, we just haven't talked in a minute. Fresh go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Coming off the fresh birthday and everything. Fresh too, birthday, you know? 21. I know you can. He found the 21 in the club. <laughs> <laughs> he took his first out of Gilly the other day. No, 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 I said like two L's, I took three. Oh, so he didn't take one, he took two. <laughs> no, then, it's his step backs, like his step backs be crazy. Like, it's something I wasn't expecting. Like, and he had left before, but like, it's hard to like... <laughs> I'm like, bro. Who else we got in the building? We got Kev 11. What up, what up? What up, what up, what up? Yeah, we about to get into something, you know, a little something about him. Um, who else we got in the building? Oh, Lady Roller. She rolling in later on tonight somewhere. She doing something, you know, so she's going to get back in a little bit. But we got a lot of sports to talk about, a lot of hip-hop to talk about. It's been a really interesting week. Who else we got in the building? Y'all know who. I don't even know. Oh, uh, this is my brother right here. You know, his name is Jose, too, so. A word? Yeah, sadly. Okay. That's the same you know. And this is my man Mike Monarch. Okay. Yeah, he uh, he like just chilling in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah you won't see him on the feed right yeah, now. He, he, you see part of my man right now, but he's yeah, working yeah, back yeah. there. I he know. He's a it. videographer, man. All right, that's what's up, but um, yeah, I know this. I know there's probably a couple of artists watching that need a, a good music video. Yeah, yeah, probably. Just probably, you know, that's what it's all about right now. We trying to network and build it, build, build our own. Fuck going to New York, fuck going to Philly. We trying to build something of our own. Right, right out here in Jersey. Right. Yes. Yeah, you hear yes. it? Um. So where are we going to go? Because we got to, uh, I mean, before we get into like, the interviews and all that political stuff, I got to talk about that NGK. And, oh, yeah. <sighs> drop it out there. Yeah, drop it out there. I mean, I thought it was dope. Yeah, I, that I, shit was fire. I, I think it's I nice, but I feel like people really, like, I'm going to say it right now, I think people really sleeping on G-Eazy, though. Like, he's fire, bro. He's been putting out tracks, though. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. But we're like, see, Facebook <laughs> friends, because the Facebook friends yeah. I got, they like, this toothpick ass ain't doing. I'm like, bro, it's not about pulling up. It's about bars right now. It's about, yeah, exactly. Like, y'all always want to pull up this, pull up that. Nah, let's keep it to bars. Bro, that's because you probably can't. Nah, ain't, 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 people, ain't people sleep on G-Eazy. It's the fact that Eminem ain't mentioned G-Eazy. But I, I like thought, a G-Eazy and MGK, like, yeah. that's not going to draw as many headlines as MGK and M. Especially because MGK was there first yeah. Yeah. before G-Eazy. So it's like, everyone thought MGK was the heir apparent to M. So yeah. was it, was it, um... G Easy with 
Nah. He not with Eminem? Like, not like... Nah, nah. he never was. Oh, so he all just going... Nah, g has been behind the scenes. He was doing, like, a lot of production work. He worked with, like, Britney. He worked uh, with, yeah, I thought I said Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah, yeah everybody yeah, knows yeah, him for yeah, that. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, he was laying back in the cut. Yeah, he, was, he, he, he came oh, from the pop... He, 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 like, he came from a pop background. Just in, he yeah, started yeah, rapping. Yeah, oh, yeah man. Like, you know what I mean? So we got the background, yeah, but... Yeah, and, and besides, M, M, and G, M and MGK, they're more similar as far as, like... The street cred, like yeah. they, they both come from the same background with Jeezy. Yeah, you don't really come from that background. Yeah, yeah, like you know what I mean. Like I remember when the uh, machine gun when MGK first dropped, mm-hmm. everybody was that like, "Wild Boy Jones, yeah, yeah, he gonna he gonna murder M's career." And then yeah, like then he, then he said something about Haley, and M had him shut down. Is that what stuff. happened? Yeah. Well, I think like that's part of the, one right? of the first verses yeah. out of the tr- this track. Yeah. Well, he he, he, mm-hmm. he, nah, he, he he like commented like. Haley was like 16, I think, at the time, and MGK commented like, oh, like, like you, you look hot as shit. Oh, and, yeah, and, and, yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. According to the rumor, M, you know, you know, sent the, the the message up the Interscope ladder, like, yo, yo correct, like, like put it, put the shelf this man. I don't like him until he he apologized. Mm-hmm. Now I feel, oh, man. I just think it's yeah. petty though. Like, I mean, I get it, yeah. but then at the same time, like, you gonna. You gonna try to ruin somebody's career, like you know? Yeah, yeah. You talk to people all the it time. Mean, it's I, like I was talking to my man. It was like, damn. I mean, we understand that that's such a bitch move. Yeah, yeah, like it's like you can be in your feelings, but then yeah. come at him another way. Don't yeah. try to ruin the yeah. man's career. Or for him. Like, yeah, what do you really do? It'd be like this: pick up the phone and call him. Yeah. And if you if he does it again after you talk to him, then okay. Yeah. Then that's so then it's like okay, I understand why you worked your way up the ladder because you tried yeah. to mm-hmm. talk to him man to man first. Mm-hmm. I think he's gonna call the I think Eminem will kill that. I don't think I don't Nah, look, listen. You can't say listen, nah. listen. Eminem can't fuck no, with him. No, 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 because no, 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 MGK said perfectly. He said, "You already the goat." Yeah. He said, "And you're also a 50 year old loser." This man called him a 50 year old loser. He said, "You stay in the room all day and listen, look at addiction." I feel like I feel like. G Easy's was better. Well, what's M gonna say to MGK? He already said, I, I know you the goat, yeah, but you're not, but, yeah, you, but, like, but you can't see me face to face. Like, he like, said, he said, he said, you spit them bars, but you won't say it to my face. Like, your Donovan comes at me and he's like, You sure? Okay, I know that. You come back, you yeah. gonna know that. Like, it's kind of like, you know yeah. like, 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 like M and 8 Mile. Remember 8 yeah. Mile when he did that, that freestyle? Yeah, yeah, he was like, Yo, I am a bum. I hang out with this guy who shot himself in the late light. And then the guy had nothing to say to him. But see, exactly what y'all saying. So then, who was this really helping? MGK. MGK. Yeah. MGK. See, yeah. At the end of the day. Honestly, it's yeah. helping MGK because of the fact. Now it's it's helping him too because it's helping him too because he had to get that frustration. Of course, it's giving him a little bit. The world, the world, the world. But the thing is, everybody, everybody said, everybody was saying you don't come at him. For so long, Eminem has been untouchable. But it'd be that one person that's like, yo, he gonna fuck you up though. Who's the last person? Let's talk about that. The last person I remember. Was it Ja Rule? Nah. Mariah Carey, not nah, Mariah, 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 Mariah Carey. But she, but she killed him. So she, she killed, killed her. Yeah. 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 He killed her. Yeah, yeah. He killed yeah, he her with that warning joint. He killed her. Oh, oh, fire. Yeah. And he killed Nick Cannon, too. Yeah, yeah he did. He's still doing a while now. Yeah. He went that yeah, yeah. But, so but he ain't going to fuck with Eminem. I'm trying to He ain't fucking with Eminem all that shit, though. Before Mariah, I can only think of Ja Rule. And he and the Jaru. And maybe and the ben, Benzino the and, them, and them people. Was Benzino yeah. nice though? Like, Benzino, yeah, he, he was like, Benzino was all right. He just had. I think he was okay. Like, I think he, he was, was okay. It was, kind of, it was kind of like a push and Drake thing. It's like uh, it's like it's like, like Benzino was alright, but M was just so much a bigger star. And not star just that, when it came to Benzino, man. it was political because Benzino owned the source. Oh yeah. yeah. So it was Don't he like still today. I don't think he owns it today, but back then he owned it. So it was like you had to be on Benzino's good side because you wanted to be in the source. Yeah, everybody was dick riding that man. Yeah. yeah, like who wasn't? Everybody, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like, like I don't know, Easy just tough to me, bro. MGK, MGK is nice. Don't get me wrong. That bad boy shit was like. Uh, MG, oh, G Easy is nice. I I, yeah. I listen to G Easy. He I got some bar. I, I heard it. I listened to his album he put out. Oh, he he do got some. I like that drum where he had yeah. with that girl where he said like he's big saying we both not shit but we love each other. I forget what the song. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like MGK took like everything is about angles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody out here. I ain't gonna say everybody out here, but certain people, you know, they had a little kid in the rap before whatever. Yo, they took that's wrong why, That's why I'm bringing uh, 
Lady Royal. Royal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why she's going to be talking to her like here and there about battle rap. Like here and there. Like she really into battle rap. I'm like, bro, like, go for it. You know what I'm saying? True. She got bars too, man. Yeah, like she got bars. Like, that last little situation between her and what was the girl's name? Oh, Rhonda. Oh, Rhonda. Yeah, that thing. Well, I heard them both. I'm like, s- well, Rhonda. No, there's, there's both couple, of them. Both there's a, there's a lot of dope female rappers in Camden. Yeah. A lot. Like we just scratching the surface. It's crazy because people really sleeping on this girl named uh, Paris. Her name's like Paris Baby. Her. Oh, her Facebook name is T T T E E T E E, and she 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 calls herself uh like the Baby Beanie or something like that. And she's actually nice, bro. What? One of the first female artists I ever heard from Camden. I'm like she's nice. Like she got bars, delivery, and everything. But you know, like all these you know new people coming out. Some people been rap. Oh, some females been rapping. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just I just heard. But both y'all. Yeah. Of coming up rappers, is that the way now? Like, what, just beefing with somebody? Yeah, like no, everybody saw no. Pusha T. I want to get the clout, kind of, because I felt like that's all that MGK it's, shit really like was. Ways, but not it, it's the way, but if you got a passion for it, like, yeah. you could tell Lady Gorda got a passion for it. Like, I'd rather, not saying her music sucks because her music is actually good mm-hmm. when I saw her perform at Indie. Yeah. But I feel like, like, her battle rap drive is like crazy. I feel like she probably could be a good battle rapper. Not yeah. even good, like a real like. I feel I, like I say she's nah, aggressive. Yeah. She's really aggressive, bro. I'm a female. I say this. I think it's the way if you got no budget. Yeah. Is if that you got, if you got no budget, I feel like because that's 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 a free way to draw but see, attention so, to yourself. So yeah, that's true. But then the way you say that it, that, that and and a lot I see rappers doing these days where they they're doing stunts on wow. on Instagram, whether it be like like. Like the one guy who shot himself in the face with a gun. What? Hey, what? You ain't ever seen it like a year ago? No, it was, it was on Rock Star where like someone shot themselves in the cheek. What? Oh, no. I saw y'all. You need to Rock Star that right now. You need yo, I'm not. Well, I'm not right. Right. But I mean yeah, to go yeah, yeah, viral. He didn't shoot himself. Somebody shot. Like I'm about to say this. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell you shot. I'm not shooting myself for record sales. Yeah, but people just go viral. People doing stunts to like. Gain more exposure, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that, like the stuff Six Nine doing, yeah. right? Yeah. Like trolling. the trolling, the trolling you know stuff, yeah. like trolling, stunting. Yeah, um, not not saying, not saying you only do that if you have no budget, but if you don't have a budget, um, that is definitely something. Yeah. That's, that's let, a free way. Let's take it. Let's take all that battle rap shit from when Lady Royal, because I want to talk to Lady Royal when she gets here. Oh yeah, like. Cause then she gonna be like, we like, yo, we just talking about. She battle. actually on the line right now. She on my line yeah. too right now. Well, no, I wasn't talking about battle, bro. Oh, oh about, yeah, she about watching beefing. everybody live. Like, yeah, I'm talking about, <laughs> <I'm talking> about <laughs> beefing. I take that shot yeah. off the bat. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm late. Yeah, that, I'm that question was nah, beefing. We, <laughs> nah, we, me and Jose about the yeah. me, me and Jose yeah. about the beef. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, battle rap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm battle rap is battle rap is a whole different type of thing. Yeah, beefing and battle rap. Like, I feel like battle rap to me is like boxing. Like, so it's different than 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 trying to. Make music I mean, gain popularity. Yeah. Well, one of my favorite female battle rappers is right in the building, so I mean, we can always get her opinion. Wait, who? Well, I mean, mean? we it, let's save it though. Let's Wait, save it I'm like you said. What's her name? I feel uh, like I know her. I know watch her? a lot of battle rap. You met her? The one I was saying already, yeah. Yeah, she Miss battle rap Miss Jerry? Yeah, Miss oh, Jerry? Yo. Miss who? She battle rap Sasha Isaiah. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. I never watch. I don't know if I watched her battles before, but. No, but she's. Uh, she's, uh, yo, yeah, yeah, let her, yeah, let her yeah, tell uh, that. Uh, let her tell you? that. So hold up, hold up. What she doing? Is she got a lot of Roxanne Chante. I never yes. heard of her though. I, like the people, like no, the females. Roxanne, Roxanne Chante. Yeah, she's one of the top like, five. Top um, five. That's crazy. That's now we right know, you know, you know, everybody in this building, you'd be like, yo. I'm gonna, I want to know who she battled. Like I know, like forty hold bars. Yeah, the battle. All right, hold up. We'll take a break. What we'll do? We'll take a break. The we're gonna play his first joint. We're gonna play that level talk joint, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna get the whole technical all the, and then we're gonna get into some real talk. We got we got a lot to talk about tonight. It's about to be football season, basketball season around the corner, and there's a bunch of battle, a bunch of rap shit going on. Yeah. Thank God, man. Baseball getting boring. Yeah, how is it? So we about to get into battle talk. We'll be back in a minute. Game. Game. I, don't, Game. I, don't, I don't even be watching baseball. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, man. Man. Listen, listen, don't you feel bad that I'm the white bow rap like that. So, nah, I like, but I so watch like, it heavy, like, yeah. Yeah. so all these things you're gonna toss around, like, damn, I don't know who none of these people are. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gotta know, like, super serious. She's gonna do it. 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 She
I see me, they'll do nothing to me. Get used to it, I ain't never gonna stop. Till I prove my point and I'm sitting on top. Let them talk, it don't mean nothing to me. When I see them, they'll do nothing to me. Get used to it, I ain't never gonna stop. Till I prove my point and I'm sitting on yeah. top. Niggas like they run their mouth, gossip like the bitches. And they wonder why they girl all up in my business. I kill beat after beat like I got a hit list. Put so much shit in, yeah, got my only witness. I talk my shit to dip then cook another hit. Real yeah, shit yeah. that I spit, not yeah, get a politics. I want to see why they talking, loving why they walking. Girlfriend is talking, getting money like the all shit. I say shit, they ain't got nothing to do. Nothing to make too much to be underpaid by you. It's a steady progression, man. I'm still learning, still getting better. It's easy, you just gotta buy it. It, it, it. The whole process is not that hard. You don't need to buy it. I'm sitting on top. Cause I told you about the theory I had with this before. Hitting a couple of these and actually knocking them all up. Well. Bro, that's a whole nother, that'd be a whole nother level. Yeah, making some bad decisions. Growing up, never had to watch a piss in. Only seen lust cause the love was always missing. Born a demon, but was raised as a Christian. Relaxed with the pill, still fucking with addiction. They talk like they sign it, but it's really just fool's soul. Niggas say they want it, but they got the hoop low. Once the money comes, take your team to Cabo. Double tap your bitch, guarantee she gon' follow. I murder beats like I murder beats. Sold a little bit of dope, but I never touch keys. I do this shit for free, Josie and Gracie. They talk like they talk, but that shit don't face me. Let them talk, it don't mean nothing to me. When I see them, they'll do nothing to me. Get used to it, I ain't never gon' stop. Till I prove my point and I'm sitting on top. Let them talk, it don't mean nothing to me. When I see them, they'll do nothing to me. Get used to it, I ain't never gon' stop. Till I prove my point and I'm sitting on top. We back, we back. back. You know, let's give our man a minute real quick. You know, talk about that record, my dude. You know, talk about your influences in that and who did it, you know, who was on it, everything. So, you know, just give a little explanation real fast. Well, my boy, uh, Jay White, he produced the beat. He's a good friend of mine. Mm. Um, That record came along uh, because uh, a homie of mine, he go by the name of Cheesy Bread. Uh, He's putting out this dope, this dope, uh, this dope DVD that... (laughs) <laughs> I had, I had to, <laughs> like when he did that, because I didn't want to say that about cheesy bread. I didn't want to say. Literally, I've heard of him before. Okay. Yeah, that reaction though, like. like everybody <laughs> anyways, but cheesy bread, he been out in Camden uh, recently. He been uh, working on this project called Dope Jersey. Okay. And it's really exposing uh, what being addicted to heroin does to you, mm. and he's been, uh, you know finding fiends and putting them on camera. And he even, it's so funny, you gotta watch the trailer, he's got a fiend getting pissed on, on camera, on his, in his face. You got a fiend what? getting pissed on. Yeah, you got it, y'all, I'm telling y'all. Yo, look at, like, yeah, I don't know if yeah, you can see I'm Matt's face right I'm now. Nah, you, you can't, you can't. Have to, y'all <laughs> have to bring cheesy bread up one of these days. But anyways, so he wanted me to submit a song for the, for the soundtrack. Mm-hmm. And so I, had, that song I had recorded a long time ago and I already had my verse on it. So I told, I asked my boy White, I said, yo, do you want to lay a verse to it? And he said, yeah. So I laid the, he laid the verse, my verses were already laid, and I just sent it to Brett, and he uh, put it on the soundtrack. And you know, the, the Dope Jersey Project's out now. I'm going to have to link y'all with him. Cause, nah, you want yeah, to Yeah, because, I mean, I, it's like, it's funny when I say that you, a fiend is getting pissed on. But, it's, it's, but, but, but when you see the concept of it, like, it's an informative video. Like it, it kind of puts fear in you. To, to me, yeah, I mean, he didn't say it's funny, but it's like, it, to yeah. me, it's really not. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's just because you're laughing about it just because, like, yeah. I guess, whatever, but that is. Pissed on yeah, it. Yeah, like, oh, this, oh this my is God. Why I wanted, this is why I wanted first to go yeah. yes. I remember. Because I've seen some yeah. shit now, like, but it's just like, shit, man. I remember, I remember yeah. somebody, when, after somebody seen this, like, would you rather get pissed on or raped in the ass? And I was like, 
Probably the second one because I could play it off like I'm gay, but you can't say nothing getting pissed in the face. Like there's nothing you can say I mean, that is straight disrespect. I mean, damn, yeah, like all right, so so there's a gun to my head. You can either get pissed on or fucking. Yeah, but but one I you have an excuse. I, I, I can take a shower afterwards. Yeah, it's like you, <laughs> you can take a that shower, but, camera, but you. I'm about to say you can you never can wash away that shame. Yeah, you, <laughs> you want world star getting pissed in your face on camera? Yeah, there's there's no excuse. There is no excuse like, you can make. It's like, it's like yo, I, I got I was but, my but, man who was but just. But could you imagine man. getting like? You can play it all. You can say. You, can't, you can say. You can't wash away either yeah. shame, Chris. You can't. I can't, I can't wash away. Listen, man, man, in 2018, people was tolerable of gay people, right? Like that's an accepted lifestyle. True. So you can play that off, and you there's no playing off that. You yeah, like there'd be some face. moves that'd be like, I'm not gay, but I'm gay for pay. Yeah. No, this conversation is gay. I gave it twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I got it. Yeah, the shirt. The shirt. The shirt that says. Yeah, you, you ain't seen the shirt that says. Yeah, we were twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars. Yeah, we was out. We was out in AC. I'm like, yeah, yeah, me and me and me and my best friend Jasmine, we went out to we went out to AC one day. We and I saw a shirt. It was like, I ain't gay, but. And then I was like, yo, I gotta see what that shirt says. <laughs> like, thinking like, and then it says for $20. I'm like, yeah. oh. But, you know, I think that's yeah. one from that uh, Vice documentary where there's in the Dominican Republic and mm-hmm. doing like a whole prostitution. Oh, I actually yeah. saw yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. the old ass dude, he yeah. was saying it. He's like, like I'm not gay. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Besides, you could be gay and you could come back from that and be like, I've been reborn in the church. You Mom. can't, you cannot come yeah. back from being yeah. See, yeah. now you're talking a whole bunch of the whole way. Nah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta chill. Cause this conversation is getting to different levels. I'm, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, there's one you can come back. Because your ass can never be reborn. Yeah, I'm saying, there's one you can come back from. There's one that you can't ever. No, you can't ever take it. You can't dig out a, you can't dig out a cave and then be like, oh, we closed up. Man, people do that shit. I'll be seeing that shit all the time. Like, what? I'm like, really? Oh, I'm like, yo, yo, I'm be seeing that shit on Worldstar. Nah, fuck that. Nah, fuck that. Yo, I'm just saying that shit on Worldstar. Nah, fuck that. Yo, I'm just saying that shit on Worldstar. Nah, fuck that. Listen, I know y'all watched The Wire, man. Nope. Omar was a gay thug in okay. The Wire, but he's okay. still respected. Okay, yeah, that absolute, but yeah. we can't... Uh, he was, but he was the most and, respected. And, and, he was the most respected. Next week on Playmakers Radio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's the... I just, just want to put it out there, I ain't gay. <laughs> I don't got no problem with gay people, but I ain't gay. I'm just going to put it out there, Don Michael Jr. is on next week, hopefully if he gets back. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he's dope. He's dope. He's dope. Shout out to him. Shout out to him, because I don't even talk about butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nah, nah, well, nah, this whole conversation started based on dope. Yeah, nah, and I, and nah. I, think, I think everybody, especially they got kids, should, should check it out because it puts fear in you of being, you know, you don't want to end up like that. And you know how it always starts out? It starts out like, yo, just, just one time. Yeah. One time. Well, and yeah. the next thing you know, you're sticking needles in your neck because you, you, yeah. Yeah, nah, you can't gonna... function. Now nah, it's a different I'm level. It's a completely yeah. different level I'm of things that like, people need to be educated on that. Yeah. Like, they think it's fun, yeah. and you may have fun, like you said, that first time, but then after that, it turns into yeah. a whole cycle. Yeah. You know? well, what, do you, what do you call it? The people that have the, the, there's always the argument, is an addiction a disease or a choice? I mm-hmm. think it's both. It's a choice that turns into Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, so, you know, them heroin addicts, they now have a disease, like their body needs that heroin, mm-hmm. and people go to great lengths. They wanted to get pissed in the face for some heroin. Yeah, I, see, I work in the hospital. I'm a security guard. What? And I've done seen overdoses. I seen females that need heroin, but they can't. They get mad at them. Mm-hmm. They go right back out and be thrown up because they need the heroin. Yeah. And they, they get discharged. They don't want to be in West Virginia or nothing like that. Yo, and that's even a more wild, because I've been in the hospitals, like, when it's, like, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock at night, you walking in, you see them coming in, and then it's just, like, what you're actually seeing and dealing with. Half the time, the people there knew the, the addicts that were coming in. They're like, oh, okay, you know, how you doing, all that kind of stuff, like, you gonna be back, all that. Like, they have a normal conversation, the thing, but it's the real shit. The worst thing I've seen in the hospital is someone coming in chest depression, and the person's only 21 years old, and she overdosed. Yeah. On her. See, that's the thing, I love that's yeah, so and so that if, if a DVD like that, like I said, shout out Cheesy Break because he put it together. If uh, if, if if a DVD like that could scare uh, kid the kids mm-hmm. coming up away from doing something like that, I nah, think I, that's a win I for the hope, community. I hope it does something like yeah. the, like they, a lot of people don't see the reality of shit. Yeah, and that's what he said. He said he said it's, it's it, we're done trying to put it in a nice way. Mm-hmm. Like I want to show people what the reality of mm-hmm. doing stuff mm-hmm. like this looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, that's what's up. So what, that's, that song was on the on the soundtrack? Yeah, yeah it's on the soundtrack. Nah, that's what's up. So, I mean, digging a little bit deeper, what made you even want to start rapping? Uh, you know, back in high school, um, 
I mean, I ain't from the hood or nothing. I'm from Williamstown. Okay, yeah. Suburbs, I right? used to work out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, in high school, you know, uh, the kids used to always, uh, uh, you know, we used to always boom zap on the table. You know, somebody spit some rhymes, you know. Whether they was the best rhymes ever or the acid rhymes ever, everyone was always hyping each other. Like, oh, yo. And then, you know, also I used to play basketball, so I was always... Uh, I love the, the, the performing aspect of it. Like, I love the aspect of a crowd coming to see you. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so we might have a small forward on the team. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you, 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 you got, got back on team? I, I'm saying, like, I'm trying to, you know, I'm a point guard. Yeah, we got to say you're the point guard. I'm, I'm, I'll be a point, you know. I got you on the two, bro. Oops, sorry, sorry, Jose, you go to the bench. I'm cool. I'm no, no, cool. no, what you mean? My I ain't no center. We can play center. small ball. Man, man. Listen, today's one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I play point guard. All right, so we'll run the threes. We're going to think three Listen, guard in line. basketball, yeah. today's basketball, all it is is one person brings up the ball, the other people do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what, so. they, what they say, LeBron going to come to the Lakers, he's going to play five a lot. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Hold up. So we got. Hold up. We got. Oh, I got stuff for LeBron. No, 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 no. We're gonna talk about that during the basketball. Yeah. Because, because uh, I, I kind of like got on this. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Nah, nah. You good? Nah. So hey, you I can, didn't even know and that. And he been popping up a little bit too oh, recently. You seen the video with LeBron? Line. Line. Yeah. The death lineup. Yeah. So. Fuck that death lineup. But but yeah. So that got. I mean, man. Golden State got championships yeah. off it. What you want to do? Yeah. So they didn't have like Kuzma, and they didn't have like. Kuzma's not bad. We'll talk about He's that later. Bad, we'll talk about, gonna we gonna talk about this We're going to talk about this later. We're going to talk about this later. We got to stay focused. Right. We got the ability to be We got to know where he's talking. All right, so, <laughs> so excuse me. So um, where did you uh, first, you said you wanted to learn from because of school. And um, so, <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah, so, um, nah, nah, so what's going on with the deal? Like, I seen the, the joint. We're going to play yeah. the joint in a minute. Um, but I seen the video. Like, was that the studio that you're working out of? No, nah, it's actually not. Oh, okay. It's funny, I, I, I keep telling the person who owns that studio, Billy K, that, you know, I, I need to record a song there because it's a good studio. Mm -hmm. I just haven't recorded there yet. I usually go to a, stu a studio called The Polygon in okay. Jerry Hill or uh, my man, uh, Jay White, he got his own set, so I record there as well. Okay. And what really got me into to rhyming is I just like putting words together. You know me, you can probably tell right now, I like talking a lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like rapping, like doing a show is the same to me. It's like having a meeting or giving like, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a speech in front of people. Yeah. You know, you basically tell people, you know, your perspective of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as the uh, overtime record that you're talking about, um, yeah, that, that video wasn't, that's not the studio I work out, but, you know, I, I wanted to, I wanted a different video, a different vibe. Cause mm -hmm. I, I think the people like the, they're starting to gravitate towards the low budget looking videos. Not necessarily the low budget. dollars videos. Yeah, not, but not necessarily meaning like it looks ass. Meaning like they don't want to see all the extra shit. They, they want to get straight to the point. You think so? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, especially on the come up. Like I'm seeing less videos, less videos that look like Pipe Williams directed them. And I'm seeing more videos that, that look like uh, the, your, your local videographer directed them. And they look well, hot. I mean, because I and feel, they look hot. Because I feel like, I feel like personally, I feel like they that the game's changed where you, yeah. don't, you don't you don't need all that uh, yeah you don't yeah. you don't need a high Williams you can get yeah, a Wayne Campbell yeah you don't need to get the you don't need to get uh, uh, super head like, yeah, 10k like, to yeah, like you, have, you can get you can get your home yeah you can get your home yeah, yeah, you, you have the resources now yes. you can use your iPhone if you yeah. have it. so I just wanted to show a day like uh, for the overtime record I wanted to show that hey this is me going into the studio recording the song and putting together the video the same day to show that I'm mm -hmm. making the most of my 24 hours. Oh, that's why, that's what the meaning I don't even want to talk about 24 hours, like... Well, I guess what you're even thinking, 24 too. 24 hours, <laughs> Oh, 24 what? hours. Yeah, nah, Wayne did another one. Who is it? Who is Chef Agent, uh, Chef Haas. Yeah. He did one with Chef Haas, and I'm like, bro, like... I don't, I don't know what you were talking about. Like, what would you say? Like, yo, 24 hour challenge, I want like $500 for it. You said what? 500. Who won? What's the so song? Like, so like, dude, yeah, uh, when he, it's like basically you do a song, you make the video, everything, you drop it that oh, one. Oh, this seems to yeah, show yeah, 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 it Like the first one was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Sour shit. Sour was crazy. I'm not talking about the curse. Sour was real. Not a curse. Uh, sour, sour shit. Man. Yeah. <laughs> sour, <laughs> God damn it. Nah, Motherfucker. Right. And, it, like, <laughs> and it's nothing against from Chef Hodge. Shout out to Chef Hodge, but I've seen it done before. 
I seen the 24 hour challenge, so it's like, well, I, I think it's who can, like, I think what? Sour did like six hours. I don't know how long uh, Chef House did it. It was it was less than twenty. And I'm gonna really, really talk about the younger audience, like the the audience that grew up more yeah. early two thousand hip hop. Yeah. They probably do still like that extra shit. Yeah. I, I mean, but I even I even see the movies nowadays. Like they're starting to scale back on what do we need versus what do we want. Because nobody. I guess what we're looking for more, and that's kind of what I was going to say earlier. We're looking for, what are you saying, realism? That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, Like a little like, bit more real, and then yeah. also the effort. Like I'm not, I'm not necessarily like, you can put some effects into a video or something like that, but I don't need it to be extra. Like, I don't need yeah. to be all this. I mean, and you know, I want to actually, it's more, it's more relatable to this, Right, I want to like, see yeah, actually what like, what yeah. I'm looking at. I don't want to see something that's like a production maybe yeah. once in a while. But I feel like yeah. I feel like rappers got exposed in the early 2000s. Like, oh, we balling. Oh no, you not. You claiming bankruptcy. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, they, it wasn't. So, but which so rappers you, you are we talking? Yacht. You in a yacht, but you ain't got your financial situation yeah. straight for after your career is over. Like, like, I think. But that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of people yeah. too. But, you know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying. We don't. Yeah. Nowadays, we don't like the fraud. Yeah, artists is also more. They're more of an open book. They don't mind saying, listen, this is what my life is right now. Yeah. Right? And the people gravitate Yeah, some, some artists be on Facebook 24-7. I mean, but at the same time, you know, though. Some, some artists go as far as be like, yo, I'm taking a shit. Yeah. Hold I mean, on, wait for me. I'm taking a shit. I'm at the chair. Like, I'm not going to say Bro, I'm, like, I'm, saying, Bro, like, I'm, not, I'm just saying I'm taking a shit. That's what he He's talking about it. You know, like, you know, like, 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 I'm going to throw some shade somewhere. There'll be artists that be like, Wayne Campbell, I'm in the bathroom. I'll be out in a minute. You're like, dog, thank you for keeping me posted. I, I reposted 45 minutes. You never know, my man, my man, man has some female friends nah. and fans out there that care. Nah, just like, no, people really care about what I do. <laughs> 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 like, damn. No, bro, if you don't like it, drink bleach. Like, what you doing? <laughs> I can't lie. I can't lie. Nah, Lavin. man, you keep posting your shit standing. Nah, I can't drink lie. Bleach. Lavender flavor was good. Don't let the haters get to you, my I'm, I mix lavender. I'm just flavor. saying, I got a warm, look, I sell a warm glass of bleach. <laughs> <laughs> Different flavors. I put like lavender flavor, mix with a little bit of Ciroc, put a lemon as the garnish. Man, why, why are you always hating on what the, what the why are you always hating on what the nah, young Nah, girl, I'm only, I just turned 21. Nah, he knows I'm just fucking with you. Like, <laughs> like, yo. I'm going to be the DJ finally, I ain't going to go before Sunday night. Nah, <laughs> We need, we need, like, he's trying to young boy. That face, like, he took his live off. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. He took his live off. You gotta think about it. You may have hit 21, but we all hitting bigger numbers now. Like, oh, it's cool. I hit, I hit big numbers. Hey, don't too. remind us that we hit it's bigger numbers either. I'll tell you, 21. After 21, you start getting a little depressed each birthday. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm depressed right now. He's like, once you turn 22, you can be like, uh, you, a little well, bit, then 23, I'm, like, damn, then 24, you're like, oh, wow. and then 25, you yeah, really yeah, think about it. <laughs> you hit 30, you'd be like, damn, I used to be 21. Yeah. And all, and all the women are 21, and you're like, damn. Yeah, yeah, like, you're like, damn, my, my, my wife, she kind of starting to age a little bit. These young, these 21, you're the hottest. She <laughs> yeah. started, I started, I started kicking. I was 22, and I, now I'm like, damn, I'm eight years old. I know. Like, yeah, you know yeah. how you eight years ago like this, yo. Yeah, exactly. Yo, it really, it really do. Enjoy him, bro. Enjoy, Enjoy him. what? I don't do nothing. Enjoy your life. Hey, Enjoy you'll see. Life. You'll see, all I, man. All I do is go to the I studio or go to work, and that's it. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy it, bro. Make sure you take a couple trips because that's why you that's why you get more depressed. Yo, like, you like, I need you're, to. I need you, to you, like, you like, damn, I ain't been on vacation. But see, I don't even like this conversation, though. It's like, oh, yeah. we ain't old. Like, let's not. Oh, I, I can't I, say I, about I, this I, man I, right I, here. I, I can't say. I'm, I'm 27. I'm just like you. You only as old as you. Hold up. This is what I learned. This is what I learned. How old you, Chris? Say it on camera. He ain't going to say it. He ain't going to say it. I'm 27, 21, 25. He's a 40. My industry age is 27. My industry. Nah, real, real talk, my industry is 27. Yeah. Like, so what's your <laughs> name? We about to play this song over time and we about to be back back, alright? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you this question. Later. I don't know no question. Over time. Yeah, I 
put that word oh, in for sober time. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be funny. I'm sorry. No, well, that's for I'm using this for when we do like the free time and all that. Get a different angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love cash at the bag of chicks. No days off, no time to waste. You got me and broke down. I got money. I ain't mad at it. I know, I ain't mad at it. From management, I'm not allowed to get a few things out of the world. Of course, listen, name is what you said. You don't like to know. No matter what you say, you said. Hey, I will not be out. I got some words in time. You will know just who I be. The fans don't shout MVP. Money is the most. I know I get it. No one else can go. I fit it. That check comes in. I know I shit it. Not paid by the hour. Look by the minute. One life, one chance. Let it stack. Scare money. Don't make money. That's Yeah, because every time I hear it, I'm thinking 7 Eleven. I gotta admit. I was thinking 7 so Eleven. That's, that's the first thing that popped I'm, I'm, in my head. He says, and then, and then I'm just like. It's, it's basically my name. Uh, okay. I, got, I got my father's name, uh-huh. Kevin William Booth II. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Right? The second Roman numeral. No, the second Roman numerals looks like the number 11. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Kevin 11. Mike actually helped me. Uh, oh, all right. All name. right. So, okay. You know, I just used to play off my name, that's all. Oh, that's dope. I like yeah, that, yeah. That's dope, that's dope. okay. Yeah. It's simple, but it's cool. It's simple, but it's cool. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I respect that. I, I respect that. But, but um, so you've been rapping for for a minute now too, since you were saying from high school to now you're 27 years old. Yeah, so that's well, yeah. that's almost like a decade time when you've been trying to do this. Am I correct? Well, no, not necessarily, because I've been spitting bars, you say per se, since like high school. But actually, like doing it seriously, probably like a couple of years since 25. Okay, so seriously where, 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 where 25. I've been tracking the progress and actually making progress with it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, and I know things like this it takes time. You gotta build it up from the ground up. And I didn't, I didn't ever want to be the type of person to go to a label on my knees, so to speak, and my mm-hmm. hand out. Like, I'd rather be able to negotiate, have some negotiating power, so yeah. to speak. So, you know, right. I'd, rather, I'd rather build it up straight from the mud, you know, mm-hmm. get, get, the, get the basement, get, every, get the infrastructure in order at least okay. before, you know, you know, doing things like that. And I don't knock nobody that to go straight to the label first. Mm-hmm. Everyone has their preference. That's oh. just that's just. I don't that's just see the point to go to the label anymore. Yeah, exactly. Well, that is true. Although, I, although there's there's some benefits because they could give you a machine that you can't get. They out there. they can. Yeah, but that's why I want to go. If you if I were to go, I want to go with negotiating power because 
I'm not going to give everything away for that machine. It'd be like, all right, I'm going to give you what you deserve for that machine, but mm -hmm. you're not going to have the power over me to take what you want for that machine. Mm -hmm. It'd be like, yeah. for that machine, you get your 50%. Right. Yeah. Right? Or whatever it is. And then that's it. You don't get your 50% plus the power to decide what I do, when mm -hmm. I do, how I do. Yeah. And all that shit. Because you, yeah. uh, so you see artists all the time, they sign a label. I mean, they, they sign to a label, they're celebrating and a year or two later, they're on Twitter or Instagram bashing the label. Yeah. And I don't want to be that person. I mean, but then, you know, it's like those situations are so, everybody has their own, right? When it comes to when they're making their music and if they're going to a label, if they're going independent, the label side seems to be more something that if you're at that right spot and you're mm -hmm. ready for it, yeah. then that's something that you can go ahead and venture into because you know at the end of the day, they're trying to make their money just like you're trying to make exactly. your money. Yeah. So you know it's a business aspect exactly. and you know they're going to need some things from you, you're going to want mm -hmm. some things from them. Mm -hmm. You know, you just want to be prepared at right. the end of the day for that whole experience if you mm -hmm. decide to go that route right. and I mean people with their bad experiences with it look a lot of people get caught into some things man I mean it could it's not always the labels fault either sometimes nah, sometimes you go into it unexpected or not really ready for what what they're actually gonna give you you may think they're giving you one thing but they're really not and then you figure out that you have a lot more work to do because it's not like the labels gonna give you everything right it's not the labels there to do everything for you or anything else like that this is a name yeah. you know at the end of the day the stamp on your product really got you know shit. Yeah, like, a like, lot of people do a lot of groundwork they go to a label and then they're looking at the label like what did you really do yeah, for the me? label will give you the treadmill it's up to you to run on the treadmill I mean, yeah you're not even right. that like you could you can invest enough money and have your own video yeah. on YouTube if you know somebody can promote you can do the promo yourself yeah. you can do speaking of which we yeah, yeah I, I agree with that <laughs> artists that fail on the label I blame the artists because you should know like because people sign the artists people sign the labels I think and they think like the label is their best friend and mm -hmm. blase blase like nah when you sign to a label it's strictly business. business like business. like if they can't make no money off you why should they? And then you're out the door. There's going to be yeah. 10 other people that they can go yeah. come in, call and be like, hey, look, we got a slide open yeah. for you. You know, let's talk. Yeah. You know, so I mean, as an artist to labels, you are always replaceable in a sense. Exactly. Because there's always something new coming out. There's always somebody that's going to be wanting to be signed or anything yeah. like that. You got to yeah. value your own product. Right. I mean, what you thinking? You've been... You you've been playing in this a little bit more now in the game, like you know me. Yeah, like I just feel like like I talked to Wayne and Crack about certain stuff about the labels and stuff like that. If a contract, like say if like I do get a contract or whatever, somebody they like, say like you look over like three hundred, but they offer me a contract or whatever. Just depends on what they say. I'm not going to just put like yeah, we're going to sign it. No, nah, yeah. it's not going to happen like that. Like I'd rather like like. I heard, I, heard, check that shit. I heard Fontaine was dropping knowledge on 856 when he was over Yeah, there. yeah. I was talking to Fontaine about that too. Like, he was teaching me other stuff. Like, I always talk to Sour. That's probably yeah. like one of the most people I talk to as artist wise. Mm. Sour and Pesos. I talked to Mirror here and there. But Sour, I was just talking to Sour like a couple of nights ago too. And he was just dropping gems. Speaking of which, we got to bring him up here in the so. Yeah, he, he's dope. Like, he hasn't been dropping music, but he just told me he's going to be dropping some stuff. Trying hard. I don't know why I'm trying hard not, not, not to curse, but he told me he's gonna be dropping some shit. <laughs> but yeah, he said, don't worry about it, man. Yeah, 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 it's like, oh, no, like, nah, <laughs> nigga, no. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to be on Chris's level, though. Chris sometimes be going crazy. <laughs> nah, just, don't, just don't piss me off. <laughs> nah, he's definitely gonna be dropping some shit. He sent me some stuff, which was fire. I sent him like an open verse, so okay. we got shit coming along. So, yeah. You gotta That's send it. that shit over. I'm not thinking about it. Man. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I got you. My, my, my meme game is sick right now. I think at the end of the day, if you're doing whatever, you, whoever you're doing business with, whether it be a label or whatever, mm -hmm. the best deal is you fully understand what their expectations of yep. are you, and they fully understand what your expectations are of them. And I think that's where some people get in trouble. They don't understand fully understand the expectations. And I think that's in whatever situation, I think that's the best way to go about it. Facts, facts. So what's up? I was going to say, I actually had a question for you too when it comes to that. You know, so what are your, what are your future, what do you see yourself in like your future plans? Because like you said, you had about two years of taking this serious. You know, when it comes to labels or staying independent or future projects or how you expand, how you get your product to expand, you know, because at the end of the day, it's all about your brand. Oh, yeah. So, you know, what are you what are you looking at in your future endeavors or where you see yourself going at a certain point? Well, in the future, well, I've already started this now, but in the future, I'm trying to get into my full politician mode 
Mm. Shake all the hands, kiss all the babies, <laughs> you know, make appearances, you know. So you gotta start off town by town, then mm -hmm. you can work it up to small city by small city, then you can do major city to major city. But plan okay. is to, you know, lay the grassroots, talk to as many people as I can, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, whatever the percentage may be, like, you know, for every ten people I talk to, if four of them become fans, mm -hmm. and of them four fans, if two of them become diehard fans, then that's good for me. You mean going yeah. out to shows, events, yeah, stuff like that? Yeah, go out to shows, events. I haven't really been performing uh, at the shows events, just been making connects, but I'm going to start performing mm -hmm. um, things, you know, it's really to, to find find my lane because I'm not that, I'm not that gangster rapper, so to speak, I'm mm -hmm. more on the positivity tip, but I'm in a reality world as well, like, you know, just because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm making more positive music doesn't mean that, you know, like, you may hear cuss words on it, you know, you may hear some unpleasant things on there, right. because I'm still keeping it as real as I possibly can, but, okay. but you know, I, but, but the lane I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly how to best maneuver in that lane and whatnot, and, and like I said, that, that's the future plan, so like mini tour, and then, you know, eventually graduate to a uh, bigger tour, and that's, I say, in a, a year or two. Um, outside of music, I really want to get into uh, video production, like putting shows together, mm -hmm. you know, let's say maybe like a 10 year goal would be to like, you know, be able to produce shows that end up on Netflix or, or HBO or shows like that. You know, I like watching shows like, like shows that inspire me are like shows like Power, House of Cards, mm -hmm. uh, Ballers, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. So a wide range of things. And I also want to be able, cause I, I see even like how, I don't want to say all the music sounds the same, but the, the, the pipeline in, in rap music is, is usually, uh, you know, an artist coming from the hood, um, or I don't want to say the struggle, but coming up and being able to talk about, you know, the hood life and how I'm in a lane that's not exactly to that. I see that with a lot of uh, uh, videos being produced, or TV shows being produced, uh, you know, America loves gangsters, sex, and drugs. Right. I want to be able to try to find different lanes in that as well, as well as produce videos about that shit as well, but mm. also find the... It's definitely out there. I hear yeah. you with your point. I mean, you know, at some point, you know, you feel like maybe the music game itself is being constantly recycled and you're always seeing the same thing over yeah. and over I, again. I don't think that's, but that's a bad thing either. No, not at all. But then some of that, I think, is from mainstream media, almost mm -hmm. kind of going to where your point was. Like, they're always going to try to portray a certain kind of angle and a certain kind of feel for the culture mm -hmm. and for what people are actually doing. Mm -hmm. But then they never really give the the lane to other, other aspects of it because that's not the only one. Yeah. So you constantly may see the same person always on, like, 98.9, always on different radio stations or or different TV shows, you might see that same look, but that's not all that hip hop is. Hip hop is, it's it's a full range of different yeah. aspects and you could have different, you know, you could be in a different lane and anywhere in that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you just gotta, at the end of the day, like you're saying, just prepare yourself and try to get yourself and your, your almost thinking and your point, what's you, out there, you mm -hmm. know? You're trying to get what you want people, what you want to portray and what you want people to see about yourself. You want that out there and then let that work, fit, you know, work for itself, you know, in a sense. But I hear you with that, I do. But like you said too, it's not always, it's not always like that, it's not. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame that it's always being recycled like that. Mm -hmm. But then there's also some good stuff in that too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, we had, um. It was Money Carson last week, yeah. and Carson said, you know, just because somebody doesn't like it doesn't mean somebody else will, won't, mm -hmm. you know? It's not like everybody, there's something There's something out there for everybody. Yeah, and I'm a fan, I, I put, I'm a fan of gangster rap. I like, I listen to 50 Cent, even listen to 6 9 Jada Kiss, uh, Meek Mill. Mm -hmm. uh, I listen to hardcore street rap. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to me, sometimes yes. it's like, can you relate? Can everybody relate to it? Yeah. You know, it's like if you can necessarily can't relate to it, then that might not be the music for you. Right. And then that's not a bad thing, mm -hmm. but that's just how people should go about it. Not necessarily throwing shade or something like that towards right. music because you don't like it. That doesn't. Right. It's not the best way. Yeah. Now we we gotta take a break real quick. I gotta yeah. run to the work real quick. Yeah. Wow. Huh? I gotta get some. Huh? Literally, you should make a stats so you got to take okay. a shit. I know. <laughs> 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 I'm already fixing around here. Nah, nah, I just, just got to run to the whip real quick. He's so stand
like, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, like, honestly, I'm you got to I'm going to tell you like this. Somebody went in my car and took this shit, I'm going to fuck them up. So, all right. I'm a, Cause I just went in my pockets, it's not there, so I know what's in the car. I don't even know what it is. So just go to the break. Yeah, yeah, go to the break. Right, so Chris don't take a shit, he'll be bad. This is when the nah, editing nah, comes nah, in again, cause nah, I don't know what's in that nah, car. Nah, cause I say we um we play run it up. We're gonna play run it up real quick. Okay. And then we are uh, gonna come back and do the freestyle joint. Okay. All right. So we are gonna play run it up since first we're in the building. We'll, we'll throw his joint on, let him hear it, cause he Hello. never hears it. And then we we gonna be right back. Hello. Dang, he getting phone calls and all that in here. Real dumb phone calls. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That gives me crazy. You need to, most of your songs need to be in the two fifty three minute. Is that seconds. what it is? Because I noticed like back back yeah. when back when we was coming up, it was like you got that three you got that three verses, three sixteens, yeah. and two hooks. Yeah. Well, that's 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 because when y'all was coming up, the amount of music that was getting released wasn't as massive as it is. True. Like, especially as a new artist these days. At first, you probably gonna go to your friends and family, ask them, listen. People make up their minds in the first thirty seconds. So them first thirty seconds, like y'all, y'all, nah, right. your first thirty seconds be the intro. Mm -hmm. Like nah, these days, like the first thirty seconds need to be like, you oh, know, make or break. You need, but it's almost like drawing people in. Yeah. It's almost like what they say, like if you're writing a report, writing an article, whatever you're doing, you want to have people drawn in in that yeah. beginning part, right? Yeah. But then even even at that era, I don't necessarily know like. It might have also just been like the avenue of what media is now too. 
that does that to people because like you're saying we're all in that quick okay first 10 seconds ah, i don't like this i'm gonna switch something else another time ah, i'm gonna like go to this video like you keep going back and forth back and forth until you find something that you really like but then you almost miss shit too because if you just go off that first 10 seconds you might not really see the hot part that's, 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 that's the pros and the cons that's why the artists these days is learning said put that hot shit in the first 10 seconds yeah and i think also when, when you're in the club or something or at the party the dj is playing the first verse and go to the next song so artists then feel like yeah i'm wasting two verses yeah like so you like that's why you see like a little pump of one verse but most artists only have two verses because unless you got a feature the dj i don't care how hot your song is the dj is not playing three the verses in the club. yeah like, that's true you're right you're right radios barely do it nowadays that's true too so, I mean, really, point. You, you ready to you ready to kill it yeah i'm ready all right man. i'm ready all right i'm just I'm saying we, we've had people in here like Oh, they're trying to scare me. They probably put the pressure on me. You hey, the pressure, pressure make diamonds, man. Pressure make right. diamonds. Let's go. I'm ready. It's time to raise that bar. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. They make this radio. We in the building. Not anybody can come in, come in the room. Start it again. All right. You get one do-over. I got to talk. Oh. I got to tell what I feel. Yeah, see, he, I got to talk about my life. I got to talk about my life. Yeah, okay. am I the best in the game? Don't know. Regardless how I feel, though, these feelings never show. When Captain's in the building, watch his haters turn their homes on their knees with their hands out. The brain that I throw, a couple dollar bills and some bills and the direction. Love when the God is hated, gives me an erection. Keep the hate coming, yeah, your boy here is living at the industry. Baby, yeah, shady like the government. I'm living out of color for my soul and everything around it. Told him I would think about it. Pop star bitch, and I get anxious when the cash comes. Get me up for dash, and it's easy just to smash one. I love this rap shit. I can never get enough. Niggas run their mouth when they songs like they tough. That ain't me, but keep it real from the suburbs. Happy homes, good credit in the numbers. I still rip it though, on a 16 or a 32. Only thing I want is cash and credit when it's due. You can keep the fame, you can tame all the bitches. I just want to write peace of mind in my riches. Yo, rhymes, catchy hooks are on my set list. Haters, watch my every move like Netflix. Yeah. Play Maple Radio, baby. Yeah. Okay. What's up? You 24 to bars. Over? That's all y'all get, man. Yeah. People got short sentence spans nowadays. I ain't got to bore you with all bars. So you get 24 bars. That's great. Pressure. Chris, you can't scare me from freestyling that. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Double up. Look. Yeah. 2018, I'm really just a fear. Damn. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's not that. I'm thinking about the charger way. Pull out your phone if you got to, bro. Pull out your phone if you got to, bro. Huh? So we pull out phone if you want to. Nah. 2018 in my year, I sense the fear. If you a op, you can't hang, I'll make shit clear. I'm unique from these niggas, we cannot compare. They doubted me, they dick crying, not to hear them all cheer. Y'all remember, I had to chase them pennies in the hardest ways. Nobody was there in my darkest days. Uh, yeah. yeah. No one was there in my okay. darkest days. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I'm gonna forgot this shit. Look, man, fuck that shit. Look, look. All these rapping niggas know I'm the man. I carry the time and I see if he'll figure that plan. Niggas like to talk crazy, but he really a fan. Headshot, bare face, send him up to the lands. Only thing I'm focused on is my mama and Venus. Told mama dupes to take a trip to Brazil and France. Should've supported from the jump. Yeah, you lost that chance. Got introduced to the money, that's the best romance. Wayne told me stop laughing, so I had to move different. Everybody in my city like this poppy too different. We got creator shots, yeah, we kinda shoot different. Telescope on the snap. Yeah, we kind of shoot different. Damn. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, man. That's oh, that hot shit. <laughs> and first, we apply pressure. Not everybody can come in the building. I like it. I but like we it. can. But we can. Yeah, get that on camera. Oh. <laughs> Yo. All right. All right. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Appreciate that, guys. Appreciate that. Definitely. Yeah, I see where we going.
Thank you for that. Now, let, let me ask that too. Let me ask this real quick because, you know, we it, it's, it is a segment that we do like, you know, and we definitely have had some great performances on because I appreciate y'all doing that because at the end of the day, pressure, at the, it should define you. You know, yeah. it should bring out the best That's in the you. That's the You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when the game on the line, like, yeah, like, yeah, I, I want the ball. I thrive for that you know, shit. So when like, Chris talking that shit, I'm like, oh, I'm ready. I'm just, I feel like, I feel like that's I my like, job to hype people. Yeah, I'm like, like, I'm, like, like, I'm, like, I'm like, I leave that. I'm ready. Yeah. Like, I feel like you ain't talking enough shit towards me. Like, I need you to talk because shit, it. shit. Like, <laughs> you gotta talk hella shit. Yo. Like, to, for me, like, you gotta talk All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, MJ, all you need to do, all, all you need oh, to do is look at me the wrong way. And I'm like, all right, I got this. <laughs> I'm gonna talk <laughs> shit on Jose just one time, and I'm gonna have fun and just kill him with one line just one time. Ooh. I ain't gotta speak on his offbeat, but guess what? I'll take his ass and put him on the street. <laughs> have Wayne came with hey. some new hope. And guess what? Better wash my mouth out with a bar of soap because so? I ain't raised no fool, but I ain't no punk. I said, I can see this man right here. I got the machine gun in the trunk. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, talk what? Yeah. Should I reply? That's up to you. I could go what, what, acapella. Would M, would M reply to MGK? Nah, I'm just saying. Nah, I man. could go acapella, no beat. Let's go. Nah, I was just fucking with you. Hey, don't be like you drinking for the You know my show. You said I ain't come on. Look, 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 look. Nah, you came good enough. All right, okay, Look at go. this. I'm about, to, I'm about to give you something right now. Nah, let's go. Yeah. I could go. Oh, yeah, you about to record? Hold on, you about to record? Because he came at me right quick. Nah, I had to. You said I ain't come at you hard enough, but I came at Kev, so. Yeah, No press releases over here. He talking about. He gonna put me in the streets. I could rap my capella with no beat. Okay. You know my slogan mean we ain't tell yeah. niggas to drink bleach. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You a short nigga, so you need to take a seat. I like Ooh. your radio show. Ooh. I might take it from you. Okay. Might put you in the dirt. <laughs> Who knows? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no I diamonds, like it. No diamonds on my neck, but I got two holes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, like, nah. But nah. drink bleach. I fuck with y'all. I I have to say lavender flavor is definitely better. Yo, that, yo, lavender flavor your favorite. Selling yeah. selling selling two dollar no, bleach. I'm telling you. Yeah, you put you put that that lavender flavor with some henny. Whew. And you gonna be going. Oh man, I know you don't even drink henny. Chris, stop it. You gonna be going. I'm trying to get more motherfuckers to drink bleach. Yeah. 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 You're, gonna be, you're gonna be going forever. <laughs> oh man, but um. Yeah, what was your question? I know you was about to ask. Yeah, you was about to ask. Oh no, yeah, I know. You know, you get into this stuff. I gotta make sure I grab certain moments real fast. Nah, I feel you. But no, nah, no, nah, I was what I was kind of going into was just the fact that it's it's funny to me how when you're when you're doing this music stuff and you, you're talking to the artists and everything, sometimes artists like to freestyle, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's almost like you're being put on the spot, or if it's like I guess I, I respect the aspect of when you say. All right, you know, I, I, for me, you know, you may have to actually give me a little bit of money, just like you were saying earlier. You might have to give me a little bit of money so I can do that. I, I respect that because in the day, that's that's how you make your money. Your words it, are your money. You know, everything like that. So I respect that. And if you're coming at it in that aspect because you you care about your own value, then I feel you. Mm -hmm. But if it's just off a trip of, oh, I don't like the freestyle, I just do songs, or I do it like this. I always wondered why that is. Like, why that? Why is it that? Some people just don't like to come off the top of the head when it feels like to me when you're making music and everything, where else is it coming from? If you're making a song, you're making that off the top of your head, right? If you just made your own song. Well, people may not be the best at freestyle. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, yeah, they may not be the best at freestyle. I mean, mine wasn't a true freestyle. That's a written. But some people may not be the best at memorizing things because you see some people, they perform nowadays and they need the background, mm -hmm. the background vocals. And as far as me, if an artist doesn't freestyle or chooses not to, I I, I respect that. You know, it's not mm -hmm. a given because in today's day and age, it's not a given because mm -hmm. you can easily get your message across without freestyle. So I think it's more of a preference thing. Me, I don't mind freestyling. Yeah. And I actually like doing it. Uh, or I don't want to say freestyle, but you know, if you know we have radio show and they throw mm -hmm. on me, I actually like spinning some bars. Mm -hmm. and if there's an artist that don't, you know, I respect that. And if there ever comes a day where I decide like. And I don't like spitting bars. I hope people would respect that too. Yeah. So I don't really like. I know you know people that grew up in the previous era. You know mm -hmm. they feel like that's a cardinal sin. I I like to be with the times. I understand the game has changed, and I also understand that a lot of rappers coming up are not actually rappers like that. They're more mel They're more melody driven. Well, you know, and, and you know, it's so funny. What? I, and I'm forgetting this guy's name. 
And I'm sorry, just because some of the new music now I just cannot get into. But I know his name. I think it's like Desmond X or something like that. I don't know. Somewhere around it. But he was, it, it, Denzel, he's in that. Denzel, Denzel Curry? I know Denzel Curry. Nah, it was something X. It was something X. Triple but X, 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 10 top. Not nah, that, nah, not him, not him. Nah. Rest in peace. Yeah, but, but it, it, what he was basically saying, he was on the lines like Migos, stuff like that. What he was basically saying was like, look, if you look at my music, my music is for entertainment. I'm out here trying to entertain, give you a show, give you something to vibe to, all that kind of stuff. You want to listen to real music? Go ahead and put in Mayor J. Blige. Go ahead and put in Jay-Z. Go ahead and put in Nas. Go listen to Tupac, Biggie. Because that's real music. But my music isn't necessarily for those type of ears. My music is to entertain you. Yeah. And I thought that was one of the real statements because I'm like, at least you know what your lane is. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. not trying to come out here and say that you're this and that and then come out and do something that you know is trash. Right, exactly. You know, at the end of the day, you know this is what I do. This is me. Give me respect for that. But then also give the people respect for who are actually putting out real music. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, I think there is definitely a difference and there's a preference in what every artist wants to do. And like you said, respect that absolute all day. But I just, I, I love how now there's an actual conversation on, okay, so if you freestyle, then it's one way, but if you don't freestyle, then people look at you another way. You know, well, I think I, it's an interesting yeah. topic. That's I, all. I, I do, I, like I said, I think it's because more rappers are coming up and they're not spitting bars, so to speak, or putting words here, they're spitting more like melodies. Mm -hmm. Like their verses sound like a long ad lib. Yeah. So you're not going to come to a freestyle, uh, come up here and freestyle, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Like the, yo, listen. I was looking at I was looking at Migos. Um, one of Migos' interviews, and they did a they did a freestyle joint. It was all three of them, mm -hmm. and basically, when I was listening to them, I'm like, bro, this is a song. Yeah. Like, this sounds like something off of the album. Yeah, because they were but saying the, what, they were but, saying the ad mm -hmm. This my thing. This what thing people don't really realize. Like when 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 people when people go to these radio shows, who 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 knows, right? MGK probably had that shit written out already. He mm -hmm. might have. You know what I'm saying? It's people like that that got that they'll write it in the next two minutes. They already know their verse. Yeah, because yeah, you're writing it and revising it as you're yeah. revising. Yeah. Because when I used to right. write, like when I used to write, it's just like yo, I'm writing it and I'm revising it, but I'll be like da da da. I, I, okay, I know like that fucking bar. Yeah. yeah. Like I actually know somebody who sit there. He'll sit here in front of all, everybody, write to a beat. Next thing you know, give him like five minutes. He's gonna come back with his phone down, and start rapping the whole verse. Yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's people like that, and I feel like people fail to realize like people go with like. With, with, with verses that's not even out yet. Yeah. And yeah. Then, then you hear it like, oh, yo, yeah. I heard it from somewhere. I don't know where. From a radio yeah. no, show. Everybody does that. Um, everybody Lil does Wayne did, used to do that. Everybody, everybody does that. But, and, they, and they would have like, because I used to be in the mixtape game. Mm -hmm. And then you know how like, the mixtapes got had like unreleased tracks. And yeah. you'd be like, yo, I heard that with the, on the, on the, what was that joint he did with Jaden? He did the joint with Jaden, Jeezy, uh, and Buster Rhymes. Little yeah, little one is uh conglom conglom uh, conglomerate. Mm. He would, he recycled a verse for that. I'm just like, dude, you use that little song. That. Yeah, yeah, like do that. Well, I know, I know, like for me, like you know, throwaway verses. Yeah. I, if I have a throwaway verse, that's the verses I use to freestyle with the radio. And I know, I know. Oh, and I know for me, like I record my verse on my phone, and I'll listen to it diligently for like. But I know for like a day, and then and yeah, I, I know, know, I know, like, but know. but like he said, I'm not, I'm not that type of person. At least I'd have to listen to it over and over and really say it to come back in five minutes. But I think it was JR Writer that used the we used the recycle the verse in Canada. Like, yeah, he got paid twice for the same verse, mm -hmm. and they confronted him about it. Like, yo, you gave us a verse that we paid you. Like 15 grand. Yeah, people get killed. Yeah. He didn't even, a guy like him didn't even need to do that. Back in the day, he had like song after song after song. Yeah, no, I would be thinking up. that Jay Rock. He, he said he charged somebody like 15 grand for, for a joint in Canada. Oh, wow. And, and they were recording it. And they were like, yo, we heard that verse. So you're giving us something. We're paying 15 grand for a verse you already used? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what people like. That's people gotta realize yeah. that shit. Cause I, I remember when uh, PMB Rock, Rock got locked up. Then he came home and he started rapping over. Uh, uh, he's rapping over. I think it was a Drake beat. I think and he started rapping. I'm like, yo, that shit tough. Then when his big tape came out, you're like, I'm saying it. like, I heard this from somewhere. And I go, I go back. I'm like, yo, I don't fuck it. It's tough, but it's like, it's bro, tough, like yeah. they recycle mm -hmm. shit, bro. I mean, I still, I do that too. I'm not gonna sit here and confront, but there is people who actually sit there and really freestyle. But when you're on that kind of a stage where, like, I feel like okay, there's maybe let's say. And this is no disrespect to any artist. Like, okay, we all in the area. Yeah. Maybe like, let's say 700 people hear your joint. 
Now, if you blow up in the next year, you go worldwide. There's billions that haven't heard it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd be like that, but it's, I don't know, man. That's just me. Like, ah, yeah. everybody use a use a, a verse that's like they they somebody go through their phone. Like, I just went through my phone. I'm like, I don't even know which one to pick. To be honest, yeah. well, if somebody well, if somebody freestyle without the phone, they they look at the phone and freestyle. They don't freestyle at all. Me personally, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, no, nah, I hear it. It's just the people that be like, people look at their phone still. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just be like, bro, like, it doesn't matter. Y'all ain't nobody had to say nothing when Remy Ma came, went to uh to Funk Flex and this Nicki Minaj, yeah. and she was reading off her phone. I wrote this on the way here. Drake nobody started, had nothing. Yeah, 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 Drake you know started that shit when he mm-hmm. was Blackbird. But he fucked up, though. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. He fucked up. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know. This is my friend yeah. that goes to that radio show. What's it called? Um, 856? No. Mm-hmm. no um, I, I just it's a famous, a famous one. Everybody goes. Hype City. I, yeah. Nah, nah. Back to Sway. No, not Sway. Funk Flex. Funk Flex. Breakfast Club. Yeah. The like famous white, radio. Why is a white dude? Um. Rose is he over, overseas? I believe so. Oh, uh, you talking about Tim? Tim Westwood? Yeah, Tim Westwood. Tim Westwood. Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of rappers look at their phone. Literally, a lot of rappers. Yeah, see, man. A lot of rappers freestyle. They look at their phone on Tim Westwood. Yeah, because they asked where it was. Tim Westwood Drake freestyle. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, because he was like, Fuck and then I say, I say, and this, and this is why I say, you're like, good, yeah. you're reading that shit. Yeah, the only, I mean, I think rappers would have did that back in the day, but the thing is, you're not bringing a, you're not going to look at a piece of paper mm-hmm. like this. That's yeah. just too inconvenient, and people mm-hmm. got sloppy handwriting. Mm-hmm. The phone just makes it convenient, you know, you're typing it, uh, it's easy to hold. So I mean, because it's yours at the end yeah, of the day. You yeah, know, yeah. you wrote that, all that. Yeah. I, I think also, too, it depends on the situation as well. Yeah. Now, but like, if you're going into, like, a battle rap and you pull out your phone, you're about to get clowned. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. Like, you're yeah. about to get clowned, you know? because oh, yeah, battle, battle, battle rap that. has rules. Right. Right. You know, you're supposed to come prepared. Right. right. That's, that's where it's been, like, you choking and then, like, Jersey. Nah, <laughs> Kenny <can't, nah, can't laughs> was there when he was battling, uh, hello? Nah. nah I know who you're talking when about. When he was battling, uh, the white boy's time I end. I know who you're talking about. And he pulls out the book. He was like, "Hold on, hold on." Like, yeah, cannabis nah. battle, somebody. Yeah, I know. God, who the fuck was it? I know you're talking. It was. It was a while uh, ago. The the begins with a D. I know who. You, it was a white boy. Google. Yeah. Google is your best friend. Hold on. This, was it really a white boy? Yeah. yeah it was, he was signed to Eminem. Yeah. Yellow. I mean yellow. No, nah, I mean, yellow, yellow was going right. Yellow. Cannabis is not battling yellow book yeah, right yeah. now. Nah. Yellow Wolf is right there. <laughs> oh man, don't don't get. I can't. I can't. Wait, 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 this guy because it'll be like twenty minutes after battle's over. He'll be like, "Yo, da da da," and I'm like, "Wow, Sue Surf really got murdered." Right, are you sure, Em? Because yeah. I think Yellow Wolf disaster. Probably, oh, disaster. Disaster. That's what I'm thinking. Disaster. That's cannabis battle. Disaster. Yeah. Are you sure you oh, signed to M? Because I don't think M. I'm only signed, signed to M. No, he's not now. Uh, I thought M only signed one white. No, when, when the battle went down, he was signed with uh, Machine. Because um, they I were do talking about. Can- I do remember cannabis battle yeah. by kind of. His arm was broken, and he's like, yeah. he pulls it out, and he's like, "Hold up, y'all don't get it." We yeah, yeah, his arm was. It was like in an arena. Yeah, and wow. people, he pulled it out. People was like, "Boom!" Yeah, yeah I, mean, I remember that shit. I mean, I get it, but but you know, know they actually got Damn, total. They trying to do. 2012. They what? Tried, that was in 2012. Yeah, Ooh. they trying to do something. Uh, total slaughter versus URL. Oh, man. Like like uh, Joe Button, Eminem. Joe Bolo Ortiz and and uh Royce the Five Nine battling actual like Crooked. battle rap. Yeah, quick out my fault. Battling act because you know Joe uh what's his name? Joe, Joe Button Joe battle. Nah, I don't know. know. Joe Button battle Joe Button uh, Hollow. Yeah. Joe yeah. Button battled Hollow and they say he lost. But, but I feel like I when I watched that I thought Button won two of the three rounds. I thought Button won the first round, lost the second, and then won the third. I think he got killed. Like he took bad angles. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but, but battle rap is different. You gotta learn yeah. how to take the angles. You gotta learn how to yeah. pause. You gotta, yeah, you gotta when, when, when you when you you feel it in your gut, like yo, the crowd about to go crazy, and that's when I'm about to pause. Yeah. Yeah. That's like where you now, we it's, it's, like, it's like a road session. Yeah. You gotta know when to you gotta save your best stuff for last. Yeah. But now we about to wrap up this section. We got a lot of sports to talk about. Well, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at the time. What's going on? Yeah. Now we, we 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 getting up. Nah, not not with y'all. It's a, it's about you know when. Oh. She on she on her way. Like we'll we'll bang out, we'll bang out. We'll talk about bad NBA because that's shorter. Yeah. And then if she shows up, then we'll you know what I mean. She shows up. Yeah. So we're gonna take this break. Give everybody a second. Check their phones and do all that fun shit. And we're gonna play like you know another house game. Absolute. Uh, Yeah. Exclusive. Like you ain't watching, you're missing it. Get it, Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, I'm not a